Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be jumping back into Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. We're going to be talking about Chocobo Expeditions, a fun little mini game that's kind of like an idle mechanic slash dispatch mode in the game. We talked about it a little bit in my beginner's tips. We're going to go ahead and dive into it because there's been some questions, and hopefully this video will help you out. But first, before we jump into this, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So the Chocobo Farm, the expedition, kind of cool. Like I mentioned, I talked a little bit about this in my beginner's tips video. If you haven't seen that, I'll go ahead and put a link up to it over there. Check it out. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into Chocobos, talk about the exchange, what to get, when to get, what are the stats and everything, and uh, just some suggestions that I have. So first, let's go ahead and talk about super fast this. We got a chest here. This chest respawns daily at reset. Definitely go get it. It's got an item for you, It random items, so you never can tell what you're gonna get. But today I got five Choco Boosters, which is definitely helpful. First, let's go ahead and talk about the Chocobos themselves. So we'll take a look at what I have right now. I've got some H's, I got an H plus, and I got, I mean, some uh, G's and a G plus and an E. Looking a little like Scrabble here, but let's go ahead. This is the first one that you get. I'm just going to click on him. We have some stats and some traits to keep an eye on. If you really want a, a good description and always something to refer back to pretty quick, just click this. It goes over this screen here. Also, it tells you what the speed, stamina, and intellect, and everything does. So we have those stats. Those stats directly relate to this, uh, these traits as well. So you've got some gill right up. So you have an opportunity to get the rate up on the gold that you get, the rare drops, the, the metal rates, everything there, the experience rate up. So you've got a bunch of different things here to keep an eye on as you're trying to determine which chocobos you wanna go with, all right? The train is a big one, that green icon there. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at another one. So that is G, I mean, that is H, right? So let's go ahead, let's take a look at my G and my G plus. So what's the difference between G and G plus? Well, if we take a look at this one, speed, stamina, everything's looking good. If we look at the increases, it's increasing pretty much everything, but by intellect goes down. So if we want to know what intellect is, again, go into here, take a look at intellect, and it's what? The effects that, uh, this affects the chance to obtain rare items. That's definitely one that I want to keep high. It's high for G, but it drops with G+, plus. but my other stats go up, right? So let's take a look at traits. When you take a look at G and G plus on traits, if we go back and forth, we lose a little bit on the gill and the rare drop rate. We lose a little bit on the metal rate up when we go to the plus, but we see quite a bit of increase in the experience rate up. Now for this, you do get a little bit of experience for your heroes when you go out. I'm not really here for the experience. That's a nice little trickle thing, but um, I'm more about getting those drops in the materials and the resources that I need for my team. Item collection here changes a little bit, not really too drastically. And then my item, my max item goes from six to seven. Now that's based off your stamina. If I remember correctly, we go back in here, look at stamina. Stamina affects the amount of expedition rewards that you get. So something to keep in mind there as well. All right, so we know this, we've got our stats down, we understand the traits. Let's take a look at E. E has a huge jump. You have a huge jump in the gill rate and the rare drop rate. I think pretty much everything across the board jumps up quite a bit. So obviously, the higher in the alphabet you go, the opposite way, up towards A, the better stats and everything that you're going to get, right? All right, so we know what we want. We want to go in here, at least for me, my focuses are on my item rates. My focuses are on, my, on, on the number of items I can get by, per expedition. Not so much on how long it takes to get through an expedition because the difference doesn't seem to make much of a difference. There's not a huge disparity, right? So we have that information, we're armed with it. Let's go make the best decision we can and purchase a Chocobo, right? So let's go in, let's go into the exchange. Here we go. So we know exactly what we want. We've got some E's, we got an E plus, some G's, but I wanna know the difference between the E and the E plus. We should be able to go in there and take a look at it, right? So let's look, wait, hold on. We got question marks. And we got question marks there. What? All right, so 
obviously, obviously, and I knew this ahead of time, obviously, we're not going to know what the stats are. You don't know the stats until you purchase it. So we may have an understanding of what we already have in our Chocobo roster um, or in our stable, right? But we don't know what stats we're going to get until after we purchase it. The best thing that you can do is know, number one, the closer to A you get, the better stats you get. Also, keep in mind the terrain. You can see the terrain in the upper left-hand corner. Right now, everything that I have is plains terrain, but I've got mountain coming up. So I'm actually holding off, and I'm going to purchase this mountain chocobo, this E+, plus, because I need a good mountain chocobo for what's coming up next. So those are chocobos. That's really kind of the abilities and the traits and everything and things you want to keep an eye on. What do you want to get out of your chocobos? Do you need gill? Do you need more rare drops? Do you want more items when you do your expeditions? So those types of things definitely keep in mind on what works best for you. So let's talk about the expeditions themselves. Go into here. Currently, I've got three running. That's the max that you can have. Again, one of my recommendations is, is unlock all three as soon as you can. You've, you get a ton of gem, crystals, gems, whatever they call them, up really early. It's fairly cheap to unlock all three, so definitely do it. It's definitely worth it. The more resources that you have coming in, the more that you can do with your roster, right? So let's talk about the expedition right here. So when you go in here and you look at your expedition, my Greenlands here, my Grasslands... Is that what it is? My grasslands, I'm at 31% explored. One thing to keep in mind, the exploration has nothing to do with the amount of time that you spend exploring that area at all. I thought, that's exactly what I thought it was. I thought it was the amount of time that you spent in an area, it would be, that would be what's considered explored. Well, it's not. If I go into my Midgar here, that's not complete. I'm at 90%. If I click this right here, has nothing to do with the amount of time spent in the expedition it has everything to do with how many items you get out of it so right now i'm waiting for this item to pop this rare this rare item to pop here as soon as i get that that is going to pop up all the way up to 100 percent, and i'm going to be done so when you're trying to clear 100 percent on an area then it's good to stack uh to stack up uh, a couple chocobos in one area and keep in mind what is it what is it exactly that you need so at one time i needed this specific item here so exploring sector five slums and church did no good i needed to explore mako reactor five so i can get this item then once i got that item i saw the explored percent increase so definitely keep an eye on that so as far as recommendations here the more that you have in one specific area, the quicker you're going to explore that and get those items, right? Obviously, that makes sense. Um, with this one in Midgar 2, I have just have that one item. I've moved both of my chocobos into grasslands, and I'm leaving one behind to farm that Midgar 2 area so that I can get that final one. And then I'll go ahead and plug them into grasslands. And then eventually, once I hit 75% explored on grasslands 1... I'll get Grasslands 2 and then go into Wutai. Wutai, I believe, is where you have the mountain. I don't know if we have mountains in Grasslands 2 yet. I should find out fairly quickly. But um, all these different areas, you're definitely going to need different chocobos for different terrains. And I did, I did like when I went into Grasslands, we've got some nice items here. Down here, you really start getting into the blue items, which is nice. So definitely want to make sure that you work through all the different areas. Because again, you have a lot of resources coming in. And remember, explore does not mean the amount of time that you spend in the area. It has everything to do with the number of items that you get checked off that list. All right. So there we go. We've got uh, the expeditions covered. Remember, also, you can use your Choco Boosters here. Um, actually, you know what? Let's try that. Let's see. Let's go out. Let's see if I can clear out this Midgar Sector 2 real quick. It's only one. I doubt we're going to get it. But let's try it. No, because one thing I noticed as well is if I get the item that I want, I'd notice that next to that, where it says six slash seven, the chest, there'll be a yellow dot, kind of like up there in the top right-hand corner of the screen, the yellow dot, meaning I got the item that I need, right? Yep, there we go. So we didn't get it. So we'll keep exploring that area until we do. All right, so that's Chocobos for you. There's the exchange, the stable. Uh, make sure to grab your missions and stuff over here. Don't forget to keep an eye on this. Uh, and then once you get these, they'll show up in your gifts right here. So, 
All right, so that's everything there is to know about chocobos. If I missed anything, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Let me know and also share any tips that you have on the whole chocobo expedition thing. Share them in the comments so that everybody benefits. That is what I had for you, everybody. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.